And we're joined by Adam Mount, who's director of the Defense Posture Project of the Federation of American Scientists, an expert on U.S. nuclear strategy. Adam, thanks very much for joining us. Your thoughts on what's been revealed here about Mr. Pompeo's visit? Well, it's a pretty dramatic development. Uh, in the past, visits from uh, senior uh, U.S. officials have sometimes been able to create breakthroughs on the international diplomatic circuit. Uh, it's not uh, unprecedented for a uh, intelligence official to go, uh, but normally it's the purview of a Secretary of State. Um, you know, so every day we're not um, shooting it at one another is a is a small success at this point, uh, and so you know hopes are high that Donald Trump can achieve some sort of um, breakthrough on the peninsula, uh, make progress towards uh, denuclearization. But I personally am skeptical that this meeting from Mike Pompeo has really laid a firm foundation for that breakthrough to occur. What, what are the reasons for your skepticism? Um, one is, for example, that. Uh, the United States is not operating with a full bench on foreign policy. Uh, NSC, new NSC um, director, uh, the National Security Advisor, John Bolton, has cut the NSC staff. Um, Rex Tillerson slashed the State Department funding. Uh, you know, many of those staff members have not been replaced. And furthermore, summit preparation has been taking place at a breakneck pace. So it's not clear to me that the U.S. apparatus has had time to really plan out a complete negotiating strategy, um, ways to counteract all of um, Kim Jong-un's likely traps and gambits uh, with fallback positions that's fully coordinated with allies. Um, so far, it looks like Donald Trump has been overconfident on Twitter and in public, saying, for example, that um, that the relationship has been improving, that it's good, and that denuclearization will be good for the world. Um, if he expects North Korea to surrender their weapons wholesale in the next year, I think he's got another thing coming. Would it be fair or unfair to suggest that maybe this meeting should have come with some published concessions, or would that have been too early? Absolutely. Before accepting this invitation, I think the lowest bar that the president could have asked for is the release of three American prisoners still in North Korean prisons. Uh, and now I think it's incredible to see the nominee for the U.S. Secretary of State come and go from Pyongyang without securing the release of those prisoners. In fact, I think there's a, a lot more that could have been achieved uh, in terms of setting conditions before accepting these invitations. I think the prisoners will eventually be released. Um, but it's not something that the United States should negotiate for. That should have been a condition for engaging in this outreach. Just one other point, Adam, if I may, because of Mr. Pompeo's rather curious status here. He's not been confirmed, as we said, as uh, the new Secretary of State. To what extent would that, do you think, color the status of his visit? And does that complicate matters for you in terms of his relationship with the president? Well, it absolutely does. Uh, the the U.S. Senate is still considering uh, Pompeo's nomination. Uh, it is not certain that that nomination will come out of committee. So that, you know, leaves the door open for North Korea to question his credibility, question his credentials. Uh, it's not clear to me that Pompeo had the kind of tenure at the CIA that's really suited for these kinds of international negotiations. So, for example, um, he's exhibited personal loyalty to Donald Trump. Um, I don't think he's gotten where he is by um, giving it to Donald Trump straight. So, um, you know, there's also serious questions about whether State Department expertise has really been uh, included in the planning for this summit meeting. Um, I think Pompeo is not well disposed to make that connection either. So um, I, I, I have hopes that the, uh, that the United States can fully prepare for this summit, but so far early indications are it's being rushed. Adam, good to talk to you. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Adam Munt, the Director of the Defense Posture Project at the Federation of American Scientists.